a throbbing, pounding headache, bright zigzagging lines across your field of vision, sensitivity to light, lingering fatigue, disrupted sleep. A migraine can include any of these symptoms. While an incapacitating headache is one of the most common experiences of migraine, the word headache doesn't really capture the wide array of experiences a migraine can entail. No two are alike, and some don't even involve a headache. Answer. Option B. Migraine may include a variety of symptoms. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have two suns in our sky? Seeing two suns during a sunset would be a spectacular sight indeed. And actually, it isn't such a rare occurrence. It is currently estimated that a third of star systems have two or more stars. Which made me wonder, how much would a having second star impact us here on Earth? How hot would Earth get? What would the day and night cycle be like? Would it be possible for life as we know it to survive in a multi-star system? Well, it depends. Answer. Option C. In fact, about 33% of the star systems have two or more stars. The U.S. Obesity epidemic continues to worsen. The latest reports show that 40% of U.S. women are obese, and American teenagers are also continuing to put on weight. The two reports from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show that efforts to encourage Americans to lose weight at least to stop putting on more weight are having little effect. Overall, 38% of U.S. adults are obese and 17% of teenagers are as well. People are considered overweight when their BMI, body mass index, hits 25, and they are considered obese when it gets to 30. People who are obese have higher rates of heart disease, diabetes, some cancers, arthritis and Alzheimer's disease. Obesity has decreased a little among the youngest children, the researchers noted, but it's still going up among teens. Answer, option D. The number of them continues to increase. One Harvard Medical School professor believes that there are five simple things to do every day in order to live a longer life. In his new book, The Big Five, Sanjeev Chopra outlines five habits that have decades of research to back them up. Drive. Chopra says the first thing is to drink coffee. He claims that it really is a miracle drug. Then there are the more obvious beneficial habits, such as exercising daily and making sure you have enough vitamin D in your diet. He also believes that a handful of nuts a day can prevent many diseases. And lastly, meditation for stress reduction is essential. Answer, option B, eating supplementary drugs. Here in Britain, we have been celebrating a birthday. Not the birthday of a person, however, but the birthday of a railway. 150 years ago, in January 1863, the first underground railway in the world carried its first passengers. It ran for six kilometres from Paddington in London to a place close to the city, which is the name we call London's main business district. The new railway was controversial and unpopular with many people. The men building the railway dug up the streets and knocked down houses and other buildings. They dug a deep trench and put the railway track at the bottom. 
Then they covered over the new railway and remade the surface of the street. Not surprisingly, the construction work caused chaos in London for many months. Answer. Option C. People supported the building of the railway. Now let's talk a video. Video and audio as a tool for mobile and here is the thing. It also works beautifully for social media and web too. It kills three birds in one stone. Do you know why TV does so well and films do so well? So really easy answer. We humans react best to seeing the picture other human beings talking back to us, and playing all these stories or what not. Yet you will find that most of the web is texted, yet when I have a 4 minute video, it does better or when I have the slideshow that an audio track to it they do so much better than all my other content because we need that. This is a flat screen. We need to live it up somehow. This is a small screen, it's not easy to read lengthy text, but if I create a lengthy article, and then I create a 3 minute video or a set of 3 minute videos about it. Then I am not repurposed to the use, I have differentiated from all my competitors and I use a fancy QR code to link to these, oh my god, we're innovating at the spear. Okay. Answer. Option B. We humans respond best to video and audio. Good afternoon. Miss Davis. I was told by James that you wanted to see me in your office. Oh, I did. Thank you for coming. Jean. Have a seat. How are you? Is everything going fine? Yes, pretty much. What about you? Miss Davis? I haven't seen you for a while. Yes, I was away for a while. Actually, I went to Arizona and met your mother there. Didn't she tell you about it? No, she didn't, but that's great. How is she? She is fine to me. She is still as exuberant as she was 20 years ago. You will never know how great a teacher your mother was. Anyway, how is your semester? It was fun. The teachers were nice, especially Ms. McKenna. I loved her class. Strange. I never liked math and struggled so much until I met Miss McKenna. That's great. How was she so wonderful? She spoke softly and explained thoroughly. She answered all of the questions earnestly. I wish all my teachers were like Miss McKenna. Many of our students made that common in the past, too. Who could have guessed that? I could get an A in math? Why not? You are smart. You can get an A in any subject you want, as long as you try. I believe. So I should have tried harder instead of giving up and neglecting the hard subjects. Answer, option B. The student realized that she can do things if she tries hard. 